Hello everyone and welcome back to Family Life Vidas TV where we're rebuilding homes and transforming society. My name is Tosin Opeolua and I am a transformational coach. You're listening to my therapy couch with Tosin where I discuss issues that destroy marriage and I want it for young people especially. I want them to stop repeating history I want them to stop dancing to the drums that they don't even know who is beating. So today, I'm going to be talking about five things that you need to consider before you say yes to that proposal. What to consider before you collect that ring from him. And you look back in the next 10 years and say, thank God I took this ring. Or you say, hmm. I regret taking that ring. Number one, erase the tall, dark, handsome idea from your dictionary. What did I say? Erase it from your dictionary. Most of the time, the people you see with such description, I mean, that big description has nothing to offer you. I tell you, the most ugliest person on heart can become handsome when he becomes an achiever. There was this guy, very short guy that um, that is actually dating the curviest girl in Africa right now. So I mean that 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 description or that desire is vague you know many of you are looking for tall dark or fair and handsome i mean we do respect most people with that description sometimes they lack substance and i'm not saying look is not important of course the, i mean anybody's look is important especially someone you want to wake up in the morning and see every day of your life but i'm saying look beyond that you don't want a handsome monster, an irresponsible fellow. You want somebody who has that quality and also has some substance in them. So share with your friends. Say to your neighbor. You know, if we're in church, we say turn to your neighbor and say neighbor. Go for substance. I'm saying it again. Share with your friends. Share share with your friends and tell them go for substance. Don't go for tall, dark, and handsome, or fair, and handsome, or whatever. Number two, know your purpose and know the kind of a man that will fit into that purpose. You know, I had a number of videos on the on Family Libida TV channel that dealt with purpose. Go and watch it. If you don't know who you are, you won't, you won't know what you want. And that is why a lot of people end up with just anybody in life. So you, you just keep patching and managing things for the rest of your life. If you don't know who you are, you are just going to go for anything. And you don't want to do that. You are a princess. You are a queen. God created you specially. You are beautiful. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter how messed up your life has been. It does not matter. You are beautiful. Let me tell you, if I use $100 bill to clean my bum and put it in the trash, trust me, if someone who is homeless or has nothing sees that bill, what would they do? They will take it, wash it, and spend it. That is how you are. No matter how your life has been, no matter where you've been, no matter what you've been through, the truth is you have not lost your value. You might have you might have lost so many, you know, period of time, you might have wasted some years, but you have not lost your value. And your value is embedded in your purpose, the reason for your existence. So if you don't know who you are, you can't produce your value. And if you don't produce your value, you can't have a return for your value, which is what will make you have the abundance you want in life. Okay, so let me move forward. Number three. Number three is like a twin sister to number two. Know and understand his purpose before you take any ring from him. You know why I'm always shouting purpose, purpose, purpose? It's because that is where we guide everything about your life. 
if that man is not clear about what he wants to do with his life and how he wants to do it and he has actionable goals that he can show you don't follow him i mean do not say yes tomorrow is valentine and i'm shouting now i'm shouting now don't follow that man don't say yes to his proposal if he does not know where he's going in life if he does not have a purpose for his life if he does not know the reason why he's existing do not say yes to him let him show you where he's going you know what statistics show us that one of the, the reasons for divorce today is you know one of them is sex um one of them is money one of them is infidelity one of the see but do you know that a lot of couples have gone through turbulent time they have gone through seasons where they don't have those things in their life and still they are together you know why you know why it's because they know their purpose they are in the same bus and they are driving towards the same place we begin to see those lapses in our relationship because of purpose because when we know that we are going on the same direction even when those arrows when those situations arise we are going to stand as one because we know that we are going in the same direction so if it's not going in your direction when turbulent time come you won't be able to stand think twice and be sure he knows where he's going before you say yes to him this season now number four ensure that he's a giver ensure that he's a giver you see for a lot of women um and a lot of girls especially those who are naive those who don't you know really understand stuff about life you know those who grow up in the gates those who does not know the life of the streets you see you have the tendency to want to spend the money how you have to please a man you have the tendency to be a martyr especially if you've been abused especially if you are raised by a uh, parent or a single parent or you are raised by you know maybe a foster parent or something those who does not expose you to this kind of life those who are you know always giving and you you also thought that is how it should be you really don't have conversation with your parents about relationship about marriage this is what happened you're going to think it's okay for you to keep giving to a man. It's not okay. And I'll say it again. It's not okay. So don't go for a stingy man. Because if you don't understand the dynamics of giving, love is about giving. And if this man is not giving to you, you are the one that keeps giving. Let me tell you, you are going to get married. Your hair will be so, so unkept. And he won't look at you. Because he doesn't feel there's a need for him to give to you. I pity you you are the one that bought the proposal ring you bought the engagement and the wedding ring you bought his wedding suit you are now complaining later you will be complaining later that he doesn't pay the children's school fee he will not pay it he will not pay it you have spoiled him you have taught him not to be responsible while you were dating him you bought the ring he placed in your hand so how do you want him to be responsible and you will you will say he's not even saying thank you did he send you i beg he not send you like my people will say so you 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 are the one that chose to be an enabler and see don't let me go into enabling story today that would be for another day let me know in your comment section in the comment section below if you want me to talk about it or you know more of empowering yourself as a woman because i've been taking the series on purpose for some time and at this point i want to swing into you know profiting with purpose and why am i doing this because I, i'm only focusing my mind on things that are destroying marriages 
and I want to deal with it. Uh, those who are already in marriage or those who are adults, they have grown, they are patching it. It's okay. They will be, they will be all right. They will survive. But those of you who are not yet married, let's deal with it before you go into it. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you want us to talk about next? Number five. If you cannot respect a man naturally, don't say yes to him. Don't say yes to a man that you can't respect naturally. I remember when we were in school, most guys that are brilliant, girls surround them, you know that. So one of these guys, after we have graduated, he started coming. I just I just started seeing him around my, my mom's shop when I'm on holiday. He's going to come around and he's going to tell me, he just came to check somebody around there. I say, eh? Hey, you came to check someone. So how did you know this place? I never knew he's been following me and trying to find out, you know, about me. So eventually, uh, we got talking. Uh, we dated for, will I really call that a date? Because initially, I really don't know what he wants because I was in a relationship. I was in a courtship. So I won't really call that a date. But I know I was, I was having challenges in my relationship. You know, I was, you know, thinking of, am I going to break up? Am I not going to break up? But the truth is, even if I break up that relationship, is not the best for me. But this guy is, is a very, very brilliant guy. Everybody, you know, people loves him. But the truth is, I can't respect him. Is my classmate. He was my classmate. For some people, they can marry their classmate, but me, I can't. I can't place it. I can't respect him. So I can't go for him. He won't fit in into, you know, my today. So what am I saying? If you are not going to respect that man naturally, don't go for him. You see, sex is, sex is one of those things that you can call see finish in every relationship. Uh, let me give you a small story. There was this the story of this young girl who got married to a king. And in the night when the king came around to sleep with her, you know, she looks at the king's manhood and said, Eh, king, so you are no more than this. Hmm. Then so so the king was like, Oh, I'm not more than this. Okay, I will show you that I am not more than this indeed. So the king called um, one of the guards and said, Guards, okay. So he whispered to the guards, and guess what? After 10 minutes, they brought the head of her father in a bowl. You know, I don't know, it's one of those old fables. But the truth is, someone's power does not lie in what they put on their body. It lies in the value you placed on them. And that is what will call for respect. So what value do you place on that man? If you can't respect him naturally, don't go for him. And that's the moral lesson. In that relationship, after you see yourself finish, what will be left? What is the value that they have to offer you? So that your journey will be smoother. Don't go for that man if you don't feel you can respect him. In conclusion, you, you see the list is long. It's long. But the basic ones that you really need to look into as you celebrate your Valentine tomorrow, and some of you, some people will come with their ring to say, be my, be my wife. You need to think twice before you do that. So in conclusion, before you say yes, ask yourself, what does this parent's marriage look like? Is that what you want? Does it look like what you want? Go for it. Sometimes that you are born in a bakery does not make you a bread. I think I kept, I kept saying that. I heard that from one of my pastors. It does not make you a bread. That his parents' marriage is not okay does not mean his own, pair, his own marriage will not be okay. But my mother will say something. My mother will say, a Saturday that will be good. You will know from Friday. What am I saying? Don't ignore red flags. If you re ignore red flags, it's going to backfire for you. So don't ignore anything. It's just one life. Make up your mind to let it count. Uh, I'm not a feminist. I don't know. But the truth is, I stand to support women always. 
and this is my therapy couch with Tosi on Family Life Builders TV till I come your way again. Keep becoming a better you because things work if we work it. Question of the day What is one thing that you will be intentional about as you celebrate Valentine tomorrow? What is one thing that you will be intentional about? about if you're still watching don't forget to subscribe like share and i'll see you some other time bye for now